fucking bored to tears. Let's go harass Charlie and Dee. We don't need Charlie and Dee to have fun, okay? We can figure out something to do without them. Hey, you know, guys, now might be a good time to do our Lethal Weapon 5 reshoots. Why would we do reshoots on that? That movie was perfect. Yeah, I was great in it, and my villain was very evil. Yeah, no, you did a great job, Frank. I'm not talking about that. Your villain was amazing. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm referring more to the blackface of it all. What's wrong with the blackface? Well, I seriously regret switching parts with you halfway through and letting you play Murtaugh in blackface. I feel like it was in very poor taste in retrospect. I think it was in poor taste that you were doing Murtaugh in whiteface. I mean, for God's sakes, Dennis, what message does that send? A lot of great actors have done blackface. Oh, yeah, oh, you know, there's countless examples of, of very classy actors doing doing blackface. Let's see, we've got the great C. Thomas Howell in, in, in Soul Man. Uh, we've got the Wayans Brothers in, in White Chicks. That was a very tasteful example of reverse blackface. Okay, those are bad examples, okay? There's tons of good examples of old movies with... Okay. Frank, help me out. Lawrence you... Olivier in Othello. Lawrence Olivier Perfect. in Othello, dude. That's like the classiest actor of Perfect. all time. Yeah, but I guarantee you there were some black people that were working on that movie that were like, hey, man, what that white man doing? Come on, that ain't right. Get a black man. Okay, so hold what on. What kind of voice You're is doing that? a black voice and that's not racist? I'm just saying that's how black people talk. That's not racist. So you would do a black guy with a black voice, but not a black guy with a black face? I don't have a problem at all with doing a black voice. Doing yeah, a black voice. That. That's just a, that's an so actor. I don't understand that, dude. I'm just saying it's just about doing it tastefully, okay? Yeah, and you gotta make the lips funny. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, no, 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 what? You have to be funny. The lips it's not have about to be funny. outlined. It's, it's not about wasn't... being funny at all, okay? It's about to... Oh, my God! I'm getting pissed off, You can't off, do all the right? voice in, in, without the lips. Okay, all right, everybody calm down. Clearly, we're not going to come to any conclusions here today, so let's move past it. Let's do something else. Okay. You're right. We can find something to do. Let's just figure it out. Let's just figure it out. Let's put our heads together. Come on, think, think. Okay, there it is. Al Jolson and the jazz singer. How is that not racist to you? Okay, what? This that... is a terrible example of blackface. This guy isn't even trying to look like a real person. Well, well he almost got the mouth right. See, that's what I'm saying about the lips. They the lips be... are the most offensive part. Look, the guy is bugging his eyes out like a cartoon character. Okay, this is racist as shit. Yeah, all blackface is racist, Mac, and that is the point I'm trying to make. You just cannot cast a white man as a black man and paint his face black. Mm -hmm. You can't do it. Mm -hmm. They're actors. They're trying to create an illusion. You know, in the Lord of the Rings movie, Ian McKellen plays a wizard. Do you think he goes home at night and shoots laser beams into his boyfriend's asshole? I don't think so, dude. Tom Cruise is a midget, all right? But he plays guys that are normal size in movies, yeah, right? But again, nobody's buying that either. Okay, look, look at this. This is Lawrence Olivier and Othello. Mm -hmm. And this is James Earl Jones. Now look at how close they look. Look at that. James Earl Jones is doing a great blackface. James Earl Jones has a blackface. He's a black man. He's not black. James of course Earl he's Jones. black. He, he was Darth Vader. Uh, Darth Vader was black? No. See, okay, there we Darth go. Darth Vader was not black. They took the mask off. He was white. I mean, I'm telling you, look, look, we got to agree on this. The whole idea is getting the right color shoe polish. Oh, no, Frank, if you're starting with shoe polish, you're starting off on the wrong foot, buddy. No way. Shoe polish, come on. And he's on your side. Stop arguing for me, okay? I got it. Hold on, this is D. Let, let's... Hey, hey, D, uh, can you weigh in on something for us? We're trying to... Hey.